Mm, time flies by. Hello, hi, hi there. This is a ukulele tutorial for the song Stolen Dance by Milky Chance. Or the other way around, Stolen Chance by Milky Dance, I'm not too sure. Anyway, this is going to be a really interesting tutorial rhythmically and also because of the very unpractical chords we're going to be using. By the way, hi, I'm Ben and this is my board today. It's a very outdoorsy tutorial, my leaf board. The chords that you need to play this song that sounds like this, just so you know. Three, four. I want you by my side So that I never feel alone again They've always been so... Now maybe you know this song already. It's a guy sitting on a chair playing the guitar, which is almost what you've got in this one, except ukulele. Chords. We need G sharp minor, which is four, three, four, two, meaning uh, top to bottom, you know. It's written normally on the leaves. And then we need uh, F sharp major, which is three, one, two, three. And this is quite tricky because you need your index finger to cover both the second string and the third and the last string, sorry, on the first fret. And it goes dee, doo, doo, dee. Actually, it's an F shape, but with an extra step height. And then we need the E, which is your fourth finger, all across the fourth fret of the first three strings, and then your index on fret number two of the A string, the higher one here. Uh, it's a E major and then a B. B. B is four, three, two, two. And you also here use your index for two strings. This one is a bit easier. The two strings are the two last ones, second fret. And then, you see, I haven't cut my nails in a while and it still works, so it's doable. It's not too practical, but it's doable. And then D sharp seven, which is your finger all across the third frets and then your index finger on the fourth fret of the last string. It's basically a D7. One step higher, one step higher, one step higher. And the song is these chords looped all the time. Now the trick is, you'll maybe notice, we don't always start with the same chord, but it's always the same loop. Everything will be clear in a very short while. So let's have a look at the verse. Bling. <laughs> okay. So a little bit of intro first. G sharp minor. One, two, F sharp. One, two, E. One, two, three, four, B. One, two, three, D sharp seven. One, two, three, four. So just so you know, the G sharp minor and the F sharp always get two beats. One, two, one, two. And the other chords get four beats. One, two, three, four. In the tabs that go with this uh, lesson, these, uh, the ones with two beats are in italic and four beats are written normally. But here on the tree, it's all, it's all same, same, because I can't, anyway. Verse. I want you by my side be so that I never feel alone again. So you see on the loan again, the D sharp seven, G sharp minor, they've always F sharp been so E can be, but now they've brought you away from me. So you see away from here. Now comes the, oh, wow. Oh, you see, now comes the interesting part and even the sun came out to have a look. What's happening here is that for each beat, one, two, three, four, you land your fingers on the strings, one, two, three, four, and between each beat, as you go back up, you pluck them all, one, two, three, four, so slowly it's one, two, three, four, and faster, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, now it really sounds like the song. So here you have to first work on the chords, getting those tricky chords right. F sharp major, E, oof, it's not so easy, especially for bigger fingers on these little strings. And then you have to work just on getting the rhythm right. So pick a chord, G sharp minor, and work on that. Slowly, faster, and then with all the chords, G sharp minor, F sharp, 
E, B, D sharp seven, and then singing. I want you by my side, so that I never feel alone again. They've always been so kind, but now they've brought you away from me here. Yeah. I hope they didn't get your mind. Your heart is too strong anyway. We need to fetch back the time they have stolen from us. An extra one, two, and a three. What happens here on the last D sharp seven is you're on they have stolen from one, two, us for one, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, and then chorus. So there's three banks of four beats for that D sharp seven. Hence D sharp seven, four beats, slash, extra four, slash, extra four, equals 12. Very good. Chorus. They have stolen from us two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Now one, two, we can bring it on the floor. You've never danced like this before. We don't talk about it. Dancing on to the boogie all night long. Stone in paradise. Shouldn't talk about it. Now one, two, we can bring it on the floor. So basically that's what the chorus sounds like. Uh, what's quite important for you to understand is that when a chord is written uh, on the lyrics, it doesn't mean you play it straight away because in this song, of course, when the chord starts, we actually slam on the strings first. So when the E, for example, is on top of na want you, it's not na want you, it's and it's now want you we can bring it on the floor you see where I've written the chord is actually where the chord lands but the chord with this particular plucking pattern starts half a beat later always right but of course if you want to strum it without then that's obviously where the chord is gonna land now on to we can bring it on the floor you've never danced like this before and now with the pattern Three, four, and now one, two, we can bring it on the floor. You've never danced like this before. Wouldn't talk about it. And the ending of the chorus is like this. Dancing on to the boogie all night long. Stone in paradise. Shouldn't talk about it. Shouldn't talk about it. And then bridge, which is the grid again of the verse. Now there's something pretty cool that you can add also to this uh, song called Stolen Dance. By the way, Stolen Dance, actually, I have a theory about this. Because the band is German, it's not about the Stolen Dance. It's about a dancing dessert, which is a German dessert called the Stollen. So we should be actually be saying Stollen Dance, which is the Christmas pastry doing dance moves, is my theory. Something even cooler that you can do once you've mastered all these uh, different chords and the uh, plucking pattern is to actually have a pattern like this hit chord slap chord hit chord slap chord hit chord slap chord and it sounds like this What's happening here is that I'm slapping with my thumb onto the zone of my ukulele just above the strings and then playing the chord. So hit chord and then I'm hitting with all four fingers on the strings and then playing the chord. So it's a pattern of two beats. One, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Okay, so it's like this with the whole grid of the verse or the bridge. One, two, three, four. Da dee da dee da 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 da
da, 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 da. There you go. Now feel free in the comments to tell me what your favorite herb is. <laughs> Sometimes I tell people, tell me which strumming you prefer. Nobody does it. So how about you tell me what your favorite garden herb uh, to cook with is? Is it basil? Uh, this one here, thyme, which just smells lovely. Ah. There you go. And the uh, structure of this song is verse, chorus, bridge, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, and then um, this grid repeated until the Stollen is finally eaten up or is up dancing with those Christmas moves. You're cool, Stollen. Hey, enjoy eating cake, uh, especially Stollen, and see you soon. Uh, also, of course, a huge thank you to my patrons who are making these tutorials, even the outdoors one, exist. So you owe them a beer.